Henry's obviously first live event, so this is his first Final Four. This is actually Kiv's third Final Four appearance in the MCS era. He did it in the Madden 18 Challenge, I believe knocked out by Skimbo, Madden 18 Bowl, and now here he is one of the top three players in this Madden 20 Classic. 71,000 virtual fans looking on here in Pizza Hut Stadium one more time. <clears throat> and I'll say it again, pro tip, you see him do the kick return right there, holding down RB, he has the same speed if he wasn't doing it. And he can take hit sticks and not fumble the ball. I mean, that's so big because you can crib a kick instead of going down and avoiding a hit stick, you can run right into it. And he has, he's already had that success so far this weekend on the kick returns. Such a young Kiv. Had one just a few games ago. Here's Zeke Elliott. Ole defense. Can the Honey Badger catch the freak? And Zeke to the crib. One play, one touchdown. I think someone wants to click pause and go back to the Texans to put J.J. Watt at D-tackle right now. <laughs> you, you think someone just, just regretted what he just did right see, there? what had happened, my controller... No? And, and you know, <laughs> Scott Troll on uh, the call. Oh, he's always on it, right? <laughs> but, but but to me, too, not even just Watt, guys. J.J. Um, Jadavion Clowney, who's got that tackle supreme ability, which is a good counter for all of that arm bar and Ezekiel-type stuff. So Gee. the impact of the Chiefs relevant early on here for Kevin, not in a good way. Smart by Henry. He's been running a lot of those sweeps out of punch. He sees he's the Chiefs. He goes right in that formation says, let me see if I can get a free touchdown on you real I mean, quick. you play with both these teams. Certainly the Chiefs weaker on defense oh, than the Texans. Oh, absolutely. And the Honey Badger, he doesn't really have any – he doesn't have an ability. So it's, it's like – It's been a while. It, yeah. He's not the Honey Badger, you know, what he used to be. So the Chiefs, they're very sleep on defense. I mean, do you hear any reason why Kiv might have made this change for being around the players? I think, I think it's because of Byron Jones. Mm. That Byron Jones, I think, got to him, and he wanted some speed and some other stuff. All right, we're going to pause here, and it's going to be some substitutions is the move right here. Henry right. going with the pause. And real quick, I I'll say, I think I don't, I Kev don't, expected him to go up. to sweep. The rosters are messed up. The rosters are messed oh, boy, up. let's listen in. Uh -oh. He's missing West Street for some reason, he's saying. Oh, these aren't updated rosters they're playing on right now. Yeah, Westry not in the playbook. I'm not sure if I'm Henry. I might just let this go. You got 7 nothing lead. Oh, that's going to be interesting. He's what? not going to play without Westry. It's going to be He's interesting. He's a glitch. They do. He's they... a practice squad glitch with 94 speed. We've you... already seen him make plays. You don't take back the touchdown, do you? No, no. The, okay. touch, the, the touchdown's got to stand, I, I assume. You, it, the, the official rule, if I'm remembering correctly, is you have until each player's first possession of the game to check the roster. To check the roster and, you know, raise your disputes. Right now, Henry was is within those guidelines. All right, so I assume Justin Chow, among others, some of our admins will make their way to the main stage and make sure we reset this thing the, the way it's supposed to be. And for Henry, this might hurt his momentum as we're joined by Skimbo, three-time champ. Yeah, I still think if I'm Kiv, I'm going to say, hey, can I switch teams? <laughs> I, was just I, I just realized I'm about to maybe get toted on this whole game, and I need to go right back to the Texans. You can get Westry if I can get the Texans. Yeah, he's like, I checked my <laughs> roster, and I realized you Davion Clowney's not on the Chiefs. That's what I'm saying. And plus, like I said, Kiv probably fully expected him to try to run sweep, and you don't really need, like, there's a defense where you can get people to collapse and blow it up. And like I said, Henry saw that and said, all right, let me see if you can stop this quick little dive, and nope, see ya. Yeah, a lot of people haven't been able to stop the dive throughout the tournament, throughout the, really the early parts of this Madden tournament. But I think momentum's going to be a factor here. I know, I know Henry doesn't want to go without his uh, sp speedy outside defensive pressure, but you see there's Justin Chow. A guy that's been in these situations. He certainly made some finals, came up short against Problem. That was back in 1986. What year was that? 08, 09? Chow in the finals. Chow in Prowl. Madden 08 made yeah. the, the Madden Challenge finals against He beat Eric you Prowl at some Bright. point. He beat me in the final eight of that tournament. <laughs> we, don't, we don't got to talk about it. It was a good game. What was the score now? He won by three. All right. That's a Chow, that's a Chow win. It was like a 58-yard field goal. It wasn't full. I'm not salty about it. <laughs> you, remember the, you still remember that game pretty well, don't you, RG? Oh, yeah. 
The, the, the footage of it's out there somewhere. It's good footage. If anyone ever gets their hands on that in the chat. It certainly can't be a controller issue at this point. I know, I know Kib had a little issue earlier. It's roster issue. So we get confirmation on what we believed all along is I, I, he, he didn't have the right roster for the Cowboys. And during this, I just want to keep, I just want to touch on it. I want your guys' opinions. Like, how do we feel about him going to the Chiefs? He's used the Texans all tournament. Surely he's had reps offline. And, you know, like me, I've repped every team that I thought I would do, but I just stuck with the Texans at the end of the day. How do we really feel about him going to the Chiefs? Here's the thing, my thought on it is if Kivett lost the first game against Henry, I can see you trying to make some sort of adjustment there. But the fact that he won that game and is making an adjustment, it baffles me. I don't have a good answer as to why you would do that. If it's me, if it's not broke, I'm not fixing it. Uh, I don't know what he thinks was broke right there. Was there anybody on the Chiefs defense that Kim was missing? on this roster update. See, that's what I was asking about the yeah. touchdown. I mean, obviously it's going to stand, but was there a key Is it player obviously? that could have done something? Maybe, maybe not. You don't know what those ratings that's a good could point. do. That's, a good that's, point why, that's why I brought it up. I was like, are we gonna, probably going to keep the touchdown, but I just thought that's, that's interesting. We're going to have to find out with everybody else. Chow up there doing some work. I mean, we can see what's going on on the uh, game screen right now, that they are s setting the, the rosters right now, the depth charts, uh, before we get into this game. Well, we have time. Uh, Lights touched on it some. Skimbo, as a player, how much more at ease do you feel when you got a guy like Chow that you can call over, uh, you know you can walk through the problems, you know he can understand it, he's a Madden veteran. Uh, does, that, does that put you at ease as a player w w when you know you can turn to a guy like Chow? Yes, it definitely does. And also, no, because when I talk to you, because we see the game so well, we'll start arguing about, like, no, this should be here because I played this game. <laughs> no, I made the game. Like, it's not this. <laughs> We've so, had a couple of those and ones. we have that all the time, yeah, that argument. Did. Like, RG, I'm telling you, this is not right. <laughs> and then you're like, I make the game. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> so it, I think it's like that. Uh, of course, you feel easy because he's, he's, he, you know, he relates to us. He understands how we feel. Like, if it's not right, he understands that he's been there. But also, it's just like, hey, man, I promise you, like, We've you're arguing, back you're arguing with a people that work times. at EA at that point. If you're, but we play so much Madden. You know, we we play the game a lot. Yeah, yeah. You guys do also uh, tend to over exaggerate sometimes. <laughs> 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 it goes both just, ways. Here's RG. Just a tag. Here's RG. RG, there's a bug. I'm telling you, man. Show me a video. I don't have the video. Well, if I don't have the video, I can't see it. So, <laughs> I knew, so I knew, I'm just I'm just hearing you tell me there's a bug, but you're not going to show me. Yeah, I'm just telling you. Like, so I always think that's funny. It's always <laughs> the same thing from RG or anyone. I'm like, hey, I promise you, the bug video. Video. Like, not taking your word. Video and repro steps, baby. Well, Skim, you've been helping me out this season. You've been doing a lot of coaching for me in-game for my Mutt team on the game day program. I've had you on the sidelines. And, that, and that's because, you know, I'm not taking the blame for any of these losses. This is all on you. This is all on this guy right there. When you win, I give you credit. When you lose, it's all on you. You know what's funny? I have people, I'll, I'll go on Twitter and they'll say, I just whipped your you know what. <laughs> you were crying on the sideline. I, was, I get those messages, but I think it's awesome. The people that see that, they think it's cool. I get a lot of, a lot of compliments about it. And you see little man. So cool. Chaos is out there, and of course you can we, get those out. We got to make Chaos taller than that. He just looks like a normal size. Well, if you're going to make Chaos taller, then the little man's got to be smaller. Got, that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's got to be, you know, just a pose. Uh, but those are a lot of fun that you can pick them up and add them to your ultimate team and having those visualizations. Is that a surreal moment, Skim? I mean, you, you just had so many opportunities where you're a guy that's been in the cover of the game, and then you see your coach in the game. Uh, does that stuff ever get old, and how does it It's feel? awesome. I love it. I love it. When I, I went to Dick's Sporting Good here in Texas, I had someone come up to me. He's like, that's the Madden player Skimbo right there. And I was like, yeah. So all this stuff is cool. You can tell it's really growing, and hopefully it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And to, and to Mike's credit, I do want to give him praise for this. I've seen so many Madden fans and competitors and people from all walks of life come up to this man, ask for a picture, show him some love, and he just handles it so well every time. He's got a big heart, and uh, we are lucky that – He's such a good person because he really does know how to handle that spotlight very well. So I want to credit Snickers you, out of him. Mike. You're still trying to Thank get you. those Snickers out of him. Here He's we go. He's hooking me up with some of the <laughs> Snickers. That's a given. Uh, there's one box left. Oh, my goodness. Seven nothing. Okay. So the touchdown will stand. The rosters have now been 
uh, updated here for both of our squads, and Young Kim will have the ball. Only eight seconds has gone by in this game. We had one play, one huge run by Zeke, and so it'll be first and 10 for Young Kim at the 25-yard line. You feel like it's right for the touchdown to stand? Yes, absolutely. I was just curious. You know me. I don't know if I'm putting on a complaint or not. <laughs> Heat of the moment. I'm well, here. Well, here's the thing. Kib had the opportunity to set up his defense oh, and see. Touchdown. Oh, Kev's back. Hardman. Who? Touchdown, young Kev. That's that offline, man. I know Henry's made a heck of a run. He's in the final three or whatever we're in. Online, you can hit that button and see what your adjustment's doing. Here offline, you can't take a look. If you want, you can show your play art, but I think that's that might that's be a little coffee. inexperienced right there. And I hate saying that because he's farther in this tournament than me, so I don't want to take away anything, but I think that's an offline thing. Yeah, it's a good point. Hardman, a youngster from Georgia and the Bulldog with 95 speed right up the seam for the touchdown. Hey. I, I was saying all along, great choice taking these Chiefs. Real, real quick, just going back to, as you see this touchdown, look at Hartman, busted coverage, no deep zone. Hey, hey. throws it on the run. Thought, we, talk about the Chiefs on the run. Oh, you, you know Patrick Mahomes has the ability, and Deshaun Watson doesn't have this ability where he does get perfect pack at, pass accuracy when you're throwing on the one run. So you did see that right there from Mahomes. Uh, the one thing I wanted to touch on is in regards to the touchdown counting, is Young Kiv set up his defense, so it was obvious he had all of his defensive players. The only reason Henry didn't know he had, he didn't have a chance to play defense, but as soon as he did, he saw that the guy was missing. Young Kiv in his third Final Four performance has tied things up, and here's Henry! <laughs> and, and this dive's gonna be a problem. He's saying, game. before I go back to my bunch, you're gonna have to show me, right? First and 10 at the 37. This time he'll stretch it out. Defense. I, I hate the play call. And you know what, what I'm thinking, Skim, about going to the Chiefs? Sure, you may be more vulnerable on defense, but on the offense, when you're playing a guy like Henry who does scream, that perfect throwing on the run might come into play and be a huge factor. And there's Zeke Elliott again. And they'll put his knee down at the 35-yard line. Really? Third and 12. He's in this offensive formation on a third and 12. He's been in bunch, I feel like, a lot. And back to the dive, and this time, everyone is there. That's where running will get you in trouble. How about the Kiva? It was looking like Henry had all kinds of momentum, and then Kiv answers back with a score of his own, gets a stop with the Chiefs, and here comes the high-powered. Chiefs offense led by Patty Mahomes. Madden 20 cover athlete. We'll step back of the gun one more time. Take over at the 27 yard line. Winner is in the final to face Sirius Mo. And they'll also lock up a spot at the end of the year at the Madden Bowl. Kiff takes a sack, but we've talked about this throughout the tournament. Uh, nobody, um, besides maybe this man right here, is more willing to take a sack instead of force the ball downfield. That's what Kiff did right there. What a hit. Will route to Kelsey, and then he gets popped. Uh, actually, RG, actually, I, I'll be honest. I prefer trying to roll out and throw it away. You do throw it sack. away a lot. You do throw it away a lot, Skim. Third 19. Goes to Michael Skimbo, three-time champ on RGU. And there's Hill. Can't hang on. You know, I understand the, you, you wanting to rack that and maybe keep going. I might be hitting the A button on a big third down to just get the first down and keep the chains moving. Now you got a punt. I'm sure he'll look back on that and maybe think he should have possession caught it. Back-to-back -back punts, and Tavon's going to have a chance to return. Uh-oh. Takes it at the 28-yard line. Little stutter step. But, oh, Reggie Raglan will hold on. And here comes Henry. He'll take over at the 42-yard line. I think, I'm obviously, Henry's going to get in this formation and run, but I say if it doesn't work here, you got to get right back in bunch. He passed the ball well against Young Kiv in their earlier matchup. And Kiv was able to hold on. Uh, and it's obvious Kiv has stretched defense. 
uh, and the dives worked well. Uh, I don't know. Looks like as the dive worked well, it worked well like once. And that's all you need is that one. Well, here I go. <laughs> and Zeke Elliott Ooh. will get to the outside. Is it a situation, Mike, where you you have to try to defend one or the other, either it's the dive or the stretch, and sometimes you guess wrong? Yeah, that's that's a, that's that's a lot of it. It's a guessing game. A lot of when it comes to the top top level, it's a guessing game. RPO. And there's an RPO to Amari. How cool is that to see a final three? And this new RPO stuff they put in the game this year is being used at the best level in Madden. And, and you know what I like about it is it, it's, it's not like they go, oh, it, he's on his hook. It's not like they're running the RPO every single down. It's mixing it in at the right time, making the defense uh, respect it. I mean, th that, that bu those RPO bubble passes out of trips, they, they give me nightmares personally when I play the game. It's a lot to account for. First and 10. Zeke Elliott gets to the edge. Lucas forces him back inside. And I'll push him back three yards, and uh, he should be heading to the second corner. To be honest, if I had armbar, I don't know if I'm spinning ever. <laughs> I understand. A for days. That's good click on, though, by Kiff to click on and get out there and set the edge himself, not, not get beat to the numbers. Second and 13. Up the gut once again. Zeke bouncing around, still on his feet. And he'll be dropped at the 20-yard yeah. line. It's just one of those animations this year. Even though there's a defender there, they're just still on their feet, moving and trucking and moving and moving, and just they keep going. Brent Scott, they'll stretch it out. And Luke is trying to chase him down, but not before Zeke gets the first down. Fresh set it down to the 13. You see Kiv, when he sets up this defense, he pinches his D-line in to kind of help him with the dive, but then he spreads the linebackers out to help a little bit with that stretch. And Zeke will fall forward to the six. He's going to bring up a second and three. We want to wish you guys a happy Sunday that's been tuning in. All kind of great Madden over the last three days. And we're down to just three competitors. Winner will play Serious Mo as there's a touchdown by Henry. And he'll take the lead once again. Man, he is just gonna just keep pounding this rock till Kib really shows him run defense. I don't blame him. I, at first I was a little questioning it, but after seeing the results, how can I even say a word? Well, it's a little inconsistent. It, it feels like one play, Kim's blowing it up in the backfield, but then the next play, he's breaking it for a big game. It just takes that one. You got to stick with it, That's though. a baseball mentality. Right <laughs> it just there. takes that it one. It takes one. Imagine, poke and poke. Imagine Skimbo up at the plate. You could imagine the stubbornness no. taking a strike. Uh, <laughs> I just look for base hits when I would play. I look to get hit. <laughs> I, 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 I got to talk about this real quick. So there was a, a purple or a cloud flat in the slot. Byron's in a deep blue. Byron got there faster than the cloud did on a, on a flat route. If that tells you anything about how serious that zone out, whatever it's called, and how serious Byron Jones is, he plays a flat route better than a cloud. Yeah, he has the zoned out ability as well as acrobat, and then the shutdown is his X Factor ability. Here's Rolling that out with the homes. And he takes a big hit. <laughs> you can't get a late flag there. Is that not, was he not out of bounds? <laughs> First and 10. I, we haven't seen unnecessary roughness since, what, Madden 93? You know what? My first Madden ever, Madden 13. I think there was penalties for hitting someone out of bounds for some reason. Mahomes. Oh, Dodrick! There's Hardman again! Patrick. Two touchdowns, two throw on the runs. You know it's going to be accurate every time. Watson, you kind of hold your breath. Mahomes, you know it's a dot. That's that no-look Deadeye. Mahomes has both dashing Deadeye and no look that eye. So if he's on the run, it's going to be perfect passing. If it's a crossbody throw, it's going to be perfect passing. And I, it's started to make sense. You got to think that that's why Kiv has switched to the Chiefs. You know Henry's coming with heavy pressure. You know you're going to have to scramble. And having the ability to make accurate passes like he does on this one is why you go to a Patty Mahomes. I don't know if Watson's being able to make that throw consistently. <laughs> Sad to say, as a Clubs and Tiger fan, no. <laughs> Holmes is on a whole different level. 
Yeah, if you're Henry right there, you can't leave a lurk on a bomb. You, I mean, that's your responsibility, and it, you left him, and Kiv probably was just literally staring down what your user was going to do. And once he saw those hips turn and come this way, he said, see you later. Remember, Kiv won their earlier game on a broken coverage like that. That's the second time in this tournament. Uh, that's the second time this game. Two touchdowns so have been on times. broken coverages. Yeah, thrice Kiv has scored against Henry in this tournament on plays where the user had the deep blue responsibility. Hands it off to Pollard. Wow, that's big. Here we go. Fourth, Fourth and, and three. three. 151 to go here in the half. Tie ball game. What do you like here, Mike? I don't know. I've been guessing wrong all day. I'm done. Guessing wrong all weekend. Come on now. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Zeke to the outside. Thornhill. And all the way down to the 21. And now it's time for the youngster to work this clock before the end of the half. That's where he messed up last uh, last game, right? He didn't take his three, did the clock. It really came back to haunt him. Let's see if he's grown up after just that one loss. Pollard. Smart. Got to back up in, holding down RB, so no fumble. I see some guys even go to conservative ball carry. And they're worried about those guys with the lower OVR. And Pollard will get to the 15-yard line, and all of a sudden, Young Kib out of timeouts, and here comes a third and four. If you're Henry, you got to assume run here. So worst case scenario, you can at least take that 40 seconds off the clock and leave Kib no time if you don't get it. Oh, wow. What a shed. And here comes that 40-second play clock. It'll be a fourth and two, a field goal and coming. It, it, it's different this year when Kib gets on offense. So, like, say he'll have – oh, gosh, this, this has got to be a bluff. He's got to be bluffing here, right? Oh, he's changing the song right now. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have his uh, hand on the controller, Henry. Oh, well, no way. I might throw up. Oh, no, there's no way. He's going to call time He is. Take the delay. Just take the delay. Every second counts. And he will. So they'll back it up five yards. It'll be a 35-yarder. What I was saying, though, in previous years in Madden, like for Kiv right here with no timeouts, he could maybe throw the ball actually three times, even inbounds, and call a play, and he could maybe have three plays. You have two. So if he throws his first pass and he stays inbounds, he'll have one more play, and the, and the half's over. So it'll be interesting if Henry tries to just take away those sidelines. Well, we've seen young Kiv return a kick already in this tournament. And Smith, hello. Already big, big old number 49 with a hit. Big improvement, though, from Henry already. We saw the mental mistake at the end of the half. Last time he played Kib on offense. This time he does the right thing. Now he just needs to finish the half strong on the defensive end here. He can't give uh, up a big play. Bazooka time, by the way, for Mahomes. X Factor activated. And he's, he's going got wide. He's going up top. Wow. And Brown with the INT. He's got room. No, oh, and he's fast. He's it's gobbled up at the 43. I agree with Young Kip. How does that get underthrown? I, I don't think it. I think the guy cut, got behind. 95 speed Brown, I think, caught up at the end. I like to see this. Well, you're off oh. your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. He did underthrow him. Wow. Right? He did. It's interesting, too, because Bazooka gives you an extra 15, 15 yards, yards on yeah. your max throw distance, but right there, Mahomes just no mustard. 15 seconds to go in the half. Good pocket. Get some points here. Gets a waistline down, and he has a timeout. He'll use it. Two remaining with nine seconds to go. All of a sudden, Henry saving that timeout, taking the delay a game when he kicked the field goal instead of wasting the timeout, looking like it could be a smart move. Needs about five yards. Of course, we've seen a few kicks from 60. That's a Pizza Hut stadium record. Motion's in. Prescott will hand it off. Gets to the outside, and he'll carry a man to the 36. Call timeout. And he will take his three, not only once, but twice. Yeah, you know what's crazy about this, Matt, in general, like you're thinking, if you're Kev, you're th in previous years, you're like, okay, he's in field goal range. No, it could be a touchdown, though, too. That arm bar is serious. And the kick is up, and it is good. 
Good hold there by Cooper Rush. Don't talk about it enough. And gets three, makes it six. It's not, I mean, it's a six point game instead of three. That half could have ended very differently if Patrick Mahomes puts that on a dime. 20 to 14 here in Arlington, Texas. Cowboys on top, controlled by Henry. But Young Kim's going to start the second half with the Rock. Mahomes, Patty looking. He found it, and it's Jalen Smith. Kibbs, I think, I don't blame him for taking a shot. But he's starting to try to fall in love with trying to get over the top of the coverage. But I don't blame him. Both touchdowns have been. So let's see if Henry will just make sure he doesn't get caught off guard. Second and 14. Mahomes. And can't get it in bounds. Big third and 14 coming up. This is huge. If you're a kid, you don't want to have to go for it on fourth down here because if you get stopped, Henry in field goal range already, easy, easy two-possession ball game for him. Brings three. And Sammy Watkins on the other end of a dot. Wow. He played his college ball at a place called Clemson University. Was a stud. Four minutes to go here in the third. We had a minute gone by. Michael Skimbo, that's the voice you hear. RG Scott Cole. Nice. Well, RG, you got a pin on you because I'm taking some dots right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like this out route. <laughs> you think he's joking? I'm he's not. dead serious. He's yeah. dead serious about this route to walk. Uh oh, it's, pressure. This time it's covered. Playmaker him. And RB's open. But that's animation where, like, sometimes it gets stuck on the sideline, though. No, this, uh, the wide receiver's on the sideline, and he'll try to come back. So you don't want to make that throw, because if he underthrows it, you're sick. Can't make a mistake here. Good point there by Mike. Mahomes. Low throw to Sammy. And he'll pick up a few. It'll be third and seven here at the 45. That was a high, high level play right there. The amount of routes that Henry was taking away with his usual defender and then the read progression by Kiv. Oh, this is big. Tyreek with the drop. That's the second, third down. I know you want a big play there, but if he possession catches that, he falls down and might have a first down. We keep it moving. Now here comes a big play on fourth and seven. Mahomes needs to get it. Really to the 37 and a half yard line to continue the drive. Gotta watch those blitzing corners. Loser bracket final. Winner will face Sirius Mo. And also have a chance to play in the Madden Bowl at the end of the year. And up top to Hardman. Oh, Almost tipped it over to Tyreek. Right you know what? That happens a lot in this game yeah. too. I've been on the other end. Here's a Snickers replay denied on fourth down. How about the mix of coverage right there from Henry? Sends all the goons to play before, gets to a big fourth down. You got to assume the heat's coming again, and then he just drops everyone back into coverage. Put Kevin a little mental pretzel. This drive is gigantic. Yeah, and, and you know what? That's uh, People are questioning why, I guess, Henry was using the Cowboys because he plays with them just a little differently until you see this right now. But, man, that Westry guy, that's why he wanted the updated roster. Where's my Westry? That 94 speed did not get burned. And there's an RPO to Amari Cooper again, this time on the other side. Prescott's only thrown it three times, but for 102 yards. Man, Henry looks good, man. He looks locked in. That's a humongous play right there, too, to get Henry in the field goal range. I mean, if, you, if I'm Henry in this situation, I'm just milking this clock, running this ball, doing whatever I can to make this two possessions. If I break a run, I break a run. Did the game versus joke mm. activate beast mode inside Henry? I feel like something woke up during that game. I, I mean, if something happened. He looks different. I mean, he, he just looks smarter now. But that play caused a little eh about, but it ended up being good. He snapped it early, too. I yeah. felt like he should have milked more time off that clock, Skim. Yeah, this game is 
pretty made for clock management. For Pollard makes a man wow. miss. Honestly, for players that are really good at clock oh. management, this game is really made for them because the runs very well, and then that runoff's got about 20 seconds on top of that after a play. So, and he's using it. Look, we're already down to five seconds on the play clock. Pollard again, and that'll take us to the fourth quarter. Put your fours up. We're going to have five minutes left for either Young Kib or Henry if he snaps it here. I, I, I know. I know he's not going to, but I've <laughs> seen him do some things this weekend. It only takes you to do one stupid thing for us to question you the rest of the tournament, right? I mean, we think Goes will never make a kick the rest of his life, and he's probably made 98% ever since that moment. <laughs> he's also still missed more than anyone, though. <laughs> does have a belt. Definitely does. Third and four. Y'all got to let Ghost be, man. <laughs> no, you know what? I like Ghost I like, is my guy. He's, that's a, he's that's great. A, that was a huge stop. I like Ghost's mental. I'll talk about Ghost just real quick. Yeah. Stuff like that can stay in your head forever. Like when you have these voices in your head telling you, like, you're going to choke, you're going to miss a kick, then he goes and wins a belt, right? So that shows his mental game is pretty strong, in my opinion. Be hey. problem to do it. Fourth and three. And it's up and it's good. Now a two-score game. 3.36 to go. Kev needs some mad magic. Huge drive right here for Kev. Best Kev has ever done in a Madden Classic right here. And remember, the winner of this game not only advances in the tournament, guarantees himself $25,000 in prize money, but also secures that spot in that final Madden Ball tournament. That's a pretty good way to start the year, isn't it? Oh well, you won this God. event <laughs> last year, Mike. You know something about that. What's that feeling of knowing not only did you got the belt, but you know you're going to be back at the end of the year no matter what? I mean, I'm sweating right now. I mean, I got to fight, right? I got two tournaments to get it done to find the end and then something else. So I'm not safe like I was the last couple years. Bunch formation to the left. Sammy will motion out. Mahomes, it's time to show us your guns for the Texas Tech. I'm telling you, I'll be interested to see if he's going to try to move Byron around. Looks like he's not. And Kiv saying, I'm not even going near Byron. Can you believe we're three minutes away from the final? Serious Mo. He's going to face either Henry or young Kiv, depending on how this next three minutes goes. Second and 17. Sammy again. Over on the left side. Not open on the corner route. And he'll take off with Mahomes. It'll slide down. Here comes third down. Trying to get a playoff before the two-minute warning. You got to get a snap off here. You got to get a playoff. I can hear those clicks from here. Mm -hmm. Two-minute warning. Better to make sure you had yeah. the right adjustments before you snap, or? Uh, no, absolutely, you're right. And if you don't have, if you're not First down, maybe you just snap it. If you're not comfortable, absolutely take it to the two. He'll flip the bunch. Third and 13. Down by nine. Mahomes, single coverage on the outside, and Sammy digs it off the turf. Oh, There's that possession catch that Mike's been calling for. Finally, Kiv goes to it, gets himself a big first down. Game's not over if you're Kiv. You need a quick score here, maybe even a quick field goal. And then you'll have those three timeouts to give you a chance to play defense. Here he goes. Hardman somehow comes up with it. He's got to hurry. He's got to hurry. Coming up on a minute to go. 12-second runoff. Mahomes. Look, look Kelsey. He had Kelsey. And he, oh, oh, my Randy goodness. Throwing. Ball game. Ball game. What just happened? I did not see the lower part of the screen to see if there was pressure. But that looked like a wild throw by Kiv. 